Farmers and pastoralists have to learn how to best safeguard their livelihoods against risks brought on by a variable and changing climate. With the right kind of climate information at the right time, farmers can make better decisions for their farms and households. Decisions that can help them take advantage of years when weather conditions are favorable and to reduce risks where climate is highly variable. The CGIAR Research Program on Climate Change, Agriculture, and Food Security, or CCAFS, is working with the University of Reading to develop an approach that supports vulnerable communities with locally relevant climate information. The approach is called PICSA, which stands for Participatory Integrated Climate Services for Agriculture. In PICSA, farmers and pastoralists join with local agricultural extension officers and field staff to discuss the implications of climate variability and change for their area and to interpret local rainfall observations to understand the risks they face. Historical rainfall information for a 30-year or longer period enables farmers and the local extension workers to consider the local climate. Farmers discuss how this rainfall data relate to their own weather experiences and then use a series of simple exercises to work out the chances of having favorable conditions. For example, estimating the chances of getting enough water for different crops and varieties. Based on the observations, the approach supports farmers in advance of the agricultural season to explore a range of crop, livestock, and livelihood options that best fit their lives, circumstances, and the local climate. These options may include changes in their current farming practices. For example, adding drought-resistant crop varieties, adjusting time of planting, or using soil and water conservation. They can also include new enterprises, for example, raising goats and chickens, or making and selling pottery. Farmers use participatory planning tools, like participatory budgeting, to identify which options and management practices best suit their individual circumstances. Exposure to a range of individualized livelihood options and local climate information can help farmers build resilience to a variable and changing climate. After identifying options and making plans for their future, farmers are armed with both the seasonal and short-term forecasts. Based on what the forecasts look like, farmers may want to adjust their decisions. In order to expand the communication of participatory climate services to as many farmers as possible, the University of Reading team is working with CCAFs and the World Food Program to train new trainers on the approach. These trainers are typically agricultural extension agents and field staff from development organizations who already work in local farming communities. However, the work tries to include other communicators, such as rural radio providers as well. The trainings offer an opportunity to deepen their knowledge about local farming practices while learning more from farmers about the impacts of climate variability on their livelihoods. Even though it's the farmers who decide what options work best for them, agricultural field staff play a vital role. They are the bridge between the meteorological services, which produce the climate information that is being used, and the communities that need it. PIXA's Training of Trainers activity fits well into a strategy by the Global Framework for Climate Services Adaptation Program in Africa to develop climate information and advisory services in Tanzania and Malawi. The Adaptation Program in Africa was launched in 2014. It has a goal of developing services that increase the resilience of vulnerable communities. It's the first national implementation project developed under the United Nations Global Framework for Climate Services. Actually, this climate, uh, GFS, uh, Global Framework for Climate Services, has improved the way we work with uh, uh, farmers and the extension offices in a number of ways. For instance, now we are, uh, we are undergoing the training on how we are training the extension officers on how to use these climate information. On the previous, we didn't, we, we are not doing this. So we are just interacting and to show them how they can work with farmers on on supporting them on, how, on what to decide regarding their farming activities. Work in Tanzania and Malawi shows that approaches like PIXA are having an impact. After participating in trainings, farmers have begun using climate information to shape their practices, such as switching to more drought-tolerant crops and diversifying their livelihoods. PIXA works because it puts farmers at the center while providing them with relevant tools that they need. With the support from information and decision-making tools, they can individually work out what is best for them. Concerted efforts to scale it up are, however, key in order to reach even more farmers. 
That is why the trainings are now being extended to Mali, Lesotho, Ghana, and elsewhere in Africa. Along with our partners, CCAFS is working to leave a legacy of skilled agricultural extension workers and an institutional framework that will continue to support farmers and pastoralists long after the project is finished.